In this video, I'd like to talk about classifying triangles by both their side lengths and by their angles. So let's start with their side lengths. And we have three main types of triangles. We have the equilateral triangle, the isosceles triangle, and the scalene triangle. So an equilateral triangle has all equal sides and all equal angles. So three of the side lengths, or all of the side lengths, those are equal, and all three angles are equal. So it could be a triangle with maybe length four on each side, or maybe length seven or 12, it doesn't matter. As long as they're all the same, then it's an equilateral triangle. And in all of these triangles, the angles would also be the same measure. In fact, they're always gonna be a 60 degree angle for each of these when the triangle is equilateral. And this should make sense since the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. The next triangle is the isosceles triangle. And in the isosceles triangle, it has two different side lengths that are equal. And let's say these are the two equal side lengths where maybe they're each length seven then the angles opposite those equal side lengths, those are equal as well. And these could vary, they could be really anything, but they are opposite the two equal side lengths. Or in other words, the equal angles open to the equal side lengths. So with isosceles triangles, it can be a little bit tricky based on the definition, since Older definitions would say that an isosceles triangle would have exactly two equal sides. So if you looked at the original geometry book, Euclid's Elements, that book defines isosceles triangles as having exactly two equal sides. But more modern definitions defines these triangles as having at least two equal sides. So by that definition, an equilateral triangle would also be an isosceles triangle. So it depends what you go by with your definition, but with the modern definitions, they tend to go by the fact that these triangles have at least two equal sides. So therefore equilateral triangles are also isosceles. So you always wanna be careful with your definitions. And then lastly, we have the scalene triangle, and this has no equal side lengths and none of the angles are gonna be equal. So maybe this is three, six, seven, or some other combination of three different lengths that are all different. And again, all of these angles, these are gonna be different from each other. So that's the three classifications when we're talking about side length. But we also have three other classifications when talking about the angles. And this mostly has to do with the biggest angle in the triangle. So for a triangle that has its biggest angle greater than 90 degrees, we call this an obtuse triangle. Since remember, an obtuse angle is an angle that's greater than 90 degrees. So if a triangle contains an obtuse angle, then it's considered an obtuse triangle. Likewise, if the triangle contains only acute angles, where acute angles are less than 90 degrees, then the triangle itself is called an acute triangle. So basically when defining these triangles by angles, you wanna figure out which angle is the biggest, and sometimes it's hard to tell, it could be one of these basically, but if they're both less than 90 degrees, if they're both less than a right angle, then we can say that it's an acute triangle. And then lastly, we have the right triangle. So if the biggest angle in the triangle is 90 degrees, exactly, if it is exactly a right angle, then the triangle is called a right triangle. And in this last case, this right triangle, we also have a word for the long side of the triangle. So the side length that is opposite the 90 degree angle, we refer to that side as the hypotenuse. 
So with these different classifications, we want to look at example problems where we're given some triangle and we need to determine whether it's equilateral, isosceles, or scalene, and whether it's obtuse, right, or acute. So let's look at an example problem here. So we have this triangle X, Y, Z. So X, Y, Z. And we need to classify it by its lengths and by its angles. So let's look at the lengths first. And notice that they're all different. So if two of them were the same, we'd call it isosceles. If all three of them were the same, we'd call it equilateral. But since none of them are the same, this is referred to as a scalene triangle. And looking at the angles, well, we look at the biggest angle. And in this case, the biggest angle is a right angle. It's a 90 degree angle. So we refer to that as a right triangle. Now, if this angle was bigger than 90 degrees, if this was an obtuse angle, then it's an obtuse triangle. If all of the angles are less than 90 degrees, then it's an acute triangle. 